Hey, hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to automate CloudWatch log group export to Amazon S3 bucket using AWS Lambda. As you see in this PPT, this PPT depicts my demo. Here, I'm going to show you how we need to write an AWS Lambda and schedule it periodically so that you know it can go ahead and export the required AWS CloudWatch log groups data to destination Amazon S3 bucket, right? As you know that CloudWatch log groups also provides inbuilt export option to S3 bucket, but that is only point in time in the sense it's just a one-time export. But think that there is a business case where you need to periodically export the logs from the CloudWatch log groups and it has to be kept in Amazon S3 bucket, then this is the automated solution which, come, which comes very handy for you, right? All right, so here, you know, what I'm going to show you in this demo is, you know, I'm going to create an application oriented, just dummy CloudWatch log groups which contain some logs and we're going to create an AWS Lambda, something like this, which is scheduled to run to export the CloudWatch log groups, that is application CloudWatch log groups to Amazon S3 bucket, right? All right, so that's how the, you know, the flow is. So now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the code first. That is the logic that we need to write in the, in the Lambda, which actually exports the, you know, exports the CloudWatch log groups to the Amazon S3 bucket. Then later, I'm going to take you to the uh, my AWS account and I'm going to show you how we can set up this particular lab session and how we can set up this particular lab scenario and do a real time, you know, the, the demo, right? All right. So for this case, you know, we need to have an AWS Lambda. So in this case, you know, I have written the Lambda with using Boto3 modules or with using the uh, Python SDKs, right? And this is how the code looks, which is very simple. I'm going to share this code in my GitHub repo and the GitHub repo link will be shared in this video's description. You can find this code from there and you can use it from your side as well, right? So the code is written in this way. So as it is a Python code, we're going to use AWS given Boto3 module. That is a AWS Python SDK. We are importing OS module as well. And then we are also importing the data and time. Here I'm declaring certain global variables. You see there is a huge list of global variables, but you know, we are using only few of them. So one is group name. So this is the uh, my CloudWatch log group name. So particularly I have given this CloudWatch log group name like application Lambda group name because the CloudWatch log group which is generated by a Lambda called application Lambda. That's the reason the, the group name would look something like this. Then we're going to create a destination bucket like log group export bucket demo. And in the inside this bucket, we're going to create a prefix like this Cloud Quick, Cloud Quick Labs, which is my which is my channel name. And here, end days is nothing but, you know, number of days that, you know, you want to export. When you give it zero, it does not export anything. When you give it one, you know, it will export for today's data. Yeah. All right. And then we are using the data and time model to, to, to generate the start and end time required down the line. So here, the current time is been retrieved by using data and time module. Then we are also creating the start date and end date framework, which is used to build a frame from data, from date and to date which is used down the line, yeah? And then we're gonna create a bucket prefix, which is needed. So we're gonna build a very huge path of the bucket prefix within the bucket. And that's where the, you know, actually we're gonna store the CloudWatch log groups being exported. And this is the Lambda handler function. So in this one, we are creating a Boto3 client for logs, uh, that is AWS logs service. And then with using that client, we're gonna invoke an API called create export task. And within this, we are given the parameters which we created above. That is uh, the group name is been given to the group name. From time is given to the from the from time. Two is given to the two date. Destination is nothing but your, here is a bucket name. And the destination prefix is nothing but you know, that's a bucket prefix. Finally, I'm just printing the response of this particular code. All right. So again, one more thing I need to tell is the S3 bucket, which you're going to create in for this demo needs a certain inline policy and that inline policy json file is also being written here i'm going to share this file as well in the same github repo link you're going to find this uh, find this from there right so here the inline policy contains certain two statements mean to allow two permissions one is you know allow and permission that is s3 get bucket acl to a resource that is the this is the arn of the resource that is s3 bucket that is uh, get bucket acl similarly the put bucket okay so this is the put bucket this is the resource one yeah and here you are authorizing a service that is log service of us east amazon.com i'm going to create i'm building this particular automation scenario in the region that is us east 
and that's the reason i'm giving the service principal equal to something like this so in your case if you are changing the logs to some other reason you might need to change this value that is uh, us is to the reason where you are keeping the solution right all right so this is all about the inland policy why this is needed because you know this is the prerequisite of uh, the boto3 api that is create export task on the log groups right all right so with that note let's go to the my aws account so this is my aws account as you see in this one i have already pre-created a lambda called application lambda so this main scenario the main aim of this scenario is if i can iterate let's say you now you have a very huge application which is running with using serverless base framework so in that case for example you might be using lambda stuff function blah blah and right and that gonna create as so many logs underneath the cloudwatch log groups and that log is you know really valuable for you and you want to do a certain analytics reporting you know doing building some ml module or building some customized reporting or, uh, or notification one then in that case exporting this log to the particular you know amazon s3 bucket is vital and also when you keep these logs in a centralized storage like amazon s3 bucket which is a very um, cost effective storage from there you can also build a quick site or you can build a dashboards out of these logs okay so that is the advantage of this particular solution so for this case you know here i'm just writing a dummy um, you know i'm just writing a dummy uh, application lambda it just has some logic that is to just to generate a logs so i have a function called log generator in that one there is a, a list is been declared which contains the fruit names and then i'm using the for loop and, and iterating through the items of this particular fruit list and printing the each item right similarly the handler is being declared here and from the handler we are invoking the function that is being declared here right all right and i have created an, an event which can, could be used to test this particular lambda and here you go right so it has successfully executed and you see it has printed something the same logs we can see it from the cloudwatch log groups i'm switching to the another tab which is belongs to my same aws account and this is the north virginia and i'm also in the currently showing my demo in the north virginia region of my account so this is the uh, uh, lambda group since we executed the application lambda it created the lambda groups now if you see here you're gonna have like so many log groups if i go to the log group so you know i have previously executed this lambda and those logs cannot be retrieved because that i have already deleted it right all right so far now latest log stream right so this is the latest log stream it contains one logs okay so to generate more load of logs i'm going to run this lambda multiple times right i'm keeping running i'm keep on running it's very quick execution right so that's the reason i'm just keep on running this all right so if i go back and refresh it we should see the logs getting extended you see the logs now being very huge right now we want to export these logs into a s3 bucket so how to do that you know that is where my scenario is coming so here for this case you know we need to set up the lambda with using the code which we have stated here which i explained here so i'm going to create a lambda with a name called as log export lambda yeah and then runtime is 3.9 we're going to go to the default execution uh, uh, you know we're going to build you know we're going to use the default execution role that is etl lambda role so i'm going to show you what is the content of this particular role i'm going to create this lambda so when you create this lambda you know it gets created with the default configurations okay let me go this, to this one and here is the my uh, lambda if i go to the configuration uh, go to the go to the general configuration you see the timeout is three seconds which is i think very less so i'm going to change that time timeout to a uh, 15 minutes which is the highest time of execution of aws lambda so i'm going to keep it to 15 minutes and save it as it is and that's also that's all the changes i need to do uh, let me go to the permissions if i click on this permissions i'm going to it's going to take you to the uh, im service and there you can see that you know the the uh, the im rule that i created for this lambda in this I am rule. I have given the S3 permissions because we are dealing with the S3 S3 bucket. We have given CloudWatch because we are dealing with the CloudWatch log groups, and it also contains the AWS Lambda execution permissions because this has been used to execute the Lambda. And in the trust relationship, I have given you know the logs dot Amazon dot com because we you know because this this uh, role will be used by um, uh, log group as well. So it is better to keep this in the trust relationship as well. 
So this is how my Lambda is, uh, Lambda IM rule is. And then we go back to the code. So this is the default code which gets created when you create a Lambda, which is we want to overwrite with the our logic. So I'm going to copy this particular code. So I'm going to copy and paste it here. And then I'm going to click on the deploy. So once it goes green, so in the sense, you know, this deployment has went fine. In the sense, this logic is, is now incorporated in this Lambda. And the Lambda would be running with this logic. Okay, so that quick how, you know, that how this Lambda quick is, right? And that's a very, you know, that's a very pretty a nice feature of this AWS Lambda when you compare with any other market, you know, competitors of cloud. All right, so I'm going to take you to the uh, next service. That is, uh, I'm going to close this IAM. I'm going to take you to the S3 bucket. Now we're going to create a S3 bucket, like as I mentioned in the inline policy. So our bucket name, which we targeted is log export bucket demo. And the same bucket name I have given here, it here, that is a log export bucket demo. So here I'm going to create that bucket. So click on create a bucket. I'm just going to give that name of my bucket, which I have given here, here. And then I just create a create bucket. So it's going to take a seconds, couple of seconds. And then our bucket is ready. On this bucket, we need to change the permissions. If you click on the permissions, there is a bucket policy. Click on the edit bucket policy. And then the inline policy which we discussed has to be kept in there. This is very, very important part of this demo. Without this, you know, you're going to encounter the errors, right? All right. So um, it looks to be some error. So I'm just going to copy, recopy it again. So I'll just copy this again because it didn't copy earlier. So I'm just going to cut all and paste it and save the inline policies. So now basically we have saved the inline policy. So with this, our S3 bucket is ready to store the CloudWatch log groups or CloudWatch log data, right? All right, so now with this configuration, we are set with this pipeline. Now we need to run this Lambda, which is sitting in between and doing the job, like, you know, extracting the data from here and putting the data on the Amazon S3 bucket, right? So for now, let's run it as it is. So uh, here, I'm not going to change it. Uh, I'm, no, I'm just going to keep the data end dates equal to zero so that you know it just gets the current time yeah so i'm just going to create a, a, a test event because i need the test because we need a test event to run the lambda so we created a test event and that event data is not used in this logic for your information so if i hit this here you go i think there is some error say, saying like you know, the the particular specified lag group does not exist there seems to be some uh, some some string value changes so for that case what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to the log groups and here I'm going to go to the application log. So I'm going to copy this log, name of the log, and just replace that name here. So I'm going to replace it here. So if I do a control Z, you see there is some changes in the in the name of the string, right? So I'm just going to replace it with here because earlier, if you see control Z, there is no backward slash here. Okay, so backward slash is needed. So that's the reason it is throwing the error. So we're going to keep the backward slash as well and deploy this particular lambda. Because earlier it was telling that you know log group does not exist. Because the name of the log group will start with the forward slash AWS lambda and the name of your lambda. Now with this, we are code is ready and just click on a test. Once you click on a test, you know it has it will say the response saying, like you know, the, the job is ready. In the sense, if you see the response, in response, you got the HTTPS response equal to 200, which means that you know it has executed correctly. So if you go to the S3 bucket and refresh it, it should create a you see it has created the uh, you know the prefix that is cloud quick labs this is the year this is the uh, month this is the uh, uh, date and underneath that it has created some aws log write test why it is creating because currently with this criteria whatever the criteria we have given from and to date it is not meeting the or, or basically does not contains any logs that's the reason it is just just creating a, a test path right now to export the real data, what we do is we're going to change the value equal to number of days equal to one. And then click on deploy. Basically, now it should set in the sense, basically what happens is if I go to the CloudWatch, if you go to the application, um, uh, you know, Lambda, here it's going to check like, you know, from two date, from which date to it, you know, you see the last event, right? Right. So in this one, you see there is a, a right time in the sense, it's going to take the two and from date from in this, in the sense, in the sense it's going to export those logs which falls between from to two dates right and here on each log groups if i go to the log groups selected in the go to the actions there is a built-in option which i explained earlier that is export all okay so basically you know um, this is the events okay 
So if you go to the log groups, if you go to the log groups, and then there is, if you select the log groups, there is a built-in option called export data to S3 bucket. This is what I mean to say, you know, you can use the inbuilt option, but this is like a point in time, right? But if you need a scheduled one, that is where my solution is coming, right? All right, so with that now, let's, let's uh, since I have modified the number of days to equal to one previously, now I'm going to invoke it one time. Previously, I run it with using the value equal to zero. It has just created a test write. In the sense, when it says AWS lag write test, in the sense, it is telling you that, oh, hey, I have got everything. I can export the logs. Now, when I change it, the date equal to one, it actually contains some data, which can be put it in a bucket. So let's do that. I'm going to write it now. I'm just going to execute now. So basically, you know, from last one days, in the sense, it will take a from past 24 hours. So from past, past 22 hours, you know, we're going to have the date equal to date going to change. That is 5th, 5th April will also get covered. So if you go to the 2023, so if you go to the S3 bucket again, go to this prefix year. And if you see here, under the after April, you know, you're going to have the two dates. That is 5. And underneath the 5, you see, you know, we're going to have some exports. Right here we go. The 00.jz is the actual file or actual logs which is getting exported. All right. So basically, you know, if you go to is underneath the, this date, you know, you're gonna have the sixth. Under sixth, we don't have anything, so data is not exported. But under fifth, you know, we have something. That's the reason the data has been exported. All right. So with that note, you know, I have successfully shown you the things need to be shown in this video. Finally, a kind request: please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. With that note, thank you. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.